Within the vast country of Canada, there are a multitude of ecosystems that exist. All of these ecosystems play key roles, providing a place to live, housing a multitude of organisms, and providing ecological services to those who live in and around the area. There are different types of ecosystems that exist within Canada. However, they all have the same ecological concepts present. This includes systems, functions, and interactions. The audio clip used within this short informational video presentation evokes the image of a forest ecosystem present in Northern Ontario. Quite literally, in our own backyard. The song of the birds chirping is reminiscent of days spent in the forest exploring. The birds are singing, the creek is flowing, and the wind is whistling through the branches of the trees. There are multiple processes that occur within forests located in Northern Ontario that serve as ecological services such as nutrient cycling, air purification, and carbon storage. Forests serve as carbon sinks. They are capable of storing organic carbon for long periods of time before exchanging with the atmospheric carbon reservoir. The forest ecosystem plays a big role in the process of nutrient cycling. Essential nutrients such as carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus are recycled constantly through dead to living organisms. The deciduous trees provide leaf litter within the autumn season, returning nutrients back to the soil as organic matter is decomposed by detritivores and decomposers. This addition to the soil allows it to remain healthy and be a constant source of nutrients for plants who need those nutrients to grow. Steady tree roots that have been growing for years have allowed for the soil to remain stagnant. This has reduced the amount of desertification and has increased the soil's capacity to retain water for the inhabiting plants. Forests also provide lots of services that are beneficial to humans too. Animals that inhabit these forests can range from large deer to meager rabbits. They are present year-round no matter the season. Indicators of these animals can be seen throughout the forest as tracks or even scat. The presence of these animals benefits the hunters who are scouting for their next prey, providing dinner for the whole family. Timber that is extracted from these forest ecosystems serve as materials directly used for construction and the manufacturing of paper. This natural resource also serves as a fuel source. The role of forests in air purification is significant. The trees take up atmospheric carbon dioxide in the process of photosynthesis. Within this process, the trees convert the input of carbon dioxide and create the product of oxygen gas. Photosynthesis removes gases that are harmful to humans from the air and replace it with the end product of pure oxygen gas. As in any other ecosystem, there is competition. Plants and animals compete for resources that their species require for survival. Interspecific competition occurs when organisms compete with other species that inhabit the same fundamental niche. Intraspecific competition occurs between individuals of the same species fighting for the same resources in their realized niche. Trees display exploitative competition. An individual will compete with others by being the first to access essential resources, including sunlight by growing taller than other trees and nutrients in the soil by growing longer root systems. Growing in this competitive manner requires biomass allocation.
Biomass allocation allows for individuals to allocate their nutrients and energy and therefore their growth to a specific aspect of the organism. It is also highly correlated with reproductive periods. Within these periods, more energy is expended in creating the reproductive offspring and little to none goes to the actual growth of the individual. The more nutrients in the area, the more growth and development occurs, and then the more biomass is present in the area directed by the organism. The guiding principle of Eduoptimunk or two-eyed seeing that is used by the Mi'kmaq community as a way of bringing together two very different ways and perspectives of knowledge and understanding. Eduoptimunk refers to the learning to see from one eye with the strength of indigenous knowledges and ways of knowing, from the other eye with the strength of western knowledges and ways of knowing. Two-eyed seeing was started to include people of all cultures into the field of science. The Western science practice observes, deduces, and makes people aware of the negative changes to the environments, rivers, and animal populations, but is the indigenous way of understanding the world that puts value into every living organism inhabiting the earth. The value extends into the conservation and preservation of the natural world. Through the acts of deforestation, we should be using the perspective of two-eyed seeing to decrease the impact that we are exerting in our forest ecosystems. When logging companies begin to harvest forests, they are doing much more harm than good. By tearing down entire ecosystems, animals are homeless due to habitat destruction, erosion of soil occurs due to absence of trees, which could eventually lead to desertification, and large amounts of carbon is released into the atmosphere. Through the two-eyed seeing perspective, it is clear that these are not the proper ways to be obtaining this natural resource because of the harm to the natural world. Foresters and forest managing trying to reduce human impact and help the forest recover from these unnatural disturbances. As you can see, we depend on forests much more than you may have previously thought, and perhaps now you can see why their protection is so important. The ecological processes occurring within forests are what we as humans rely on for basic human life. Forests are much more than birds chirping and flowing streams. They are the basis of a healthy and successful planet. I hope that some of the information shared today has made you come to appreciate the natural world and all that it provides for us as a species, and to think twice about overexploiting ecosystems that we depend on. Thank you.